Hi everyone, it's Cindy, and here is my paper doll journal. I used the paper collection from Graphic 45 Penny's Paper Doll family. And, um, yeah, so let me just get started. This is the cover. As you can see, and I'm not sure what, we're, what you're seeing. I can't see what, what I'm filming, so I apologize for that. Um, but anyway, you know, I made a little porch here from my Victorian house. Um, and used some cotton crochet trim for the gingerbread on my house. And these are Graphic 45 papers here, of course, and some um, other stickers I used to give it a little bit of dimension and to cover up things that didn't necessarily add to my idea. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I did make dimension because I wanted the roof to stand out a bit. And you see I have a um, seam binding tie. On the spine I have this terrific fabric that I bought ten, uh, at least 10 years ago um, with another project in mind that never happened. Um, and so, yeah, these are the little buttons that I purchased and got yesterday and some more buttons that I fit in there with them to, to um, decorate the spine little bit of lace back here to, on the edge of the fabric and just used um, cardstock from the patterns and solids to, for the rest of the cover. So inside, I'm just going to go real quickly through the non paper doll pages um, because they're really just very basic and I don't want this video to last forever. Um, I did make pockets on the inside covers on both front and back. Um, my idea of putting some wainscoting in, in my little house. There are lots of tags. Um, this one I made with some of the fabric that I used for the spine. I've used this in a few places throughout the book. This one is just a small one with patterned paper and a large one with patterned paper. This is some lace that I bought online, I think on, on eBay. I also use papers from the graphic or from the recollections um, English Cottage. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, um, collection um, to fill in. I just didn't, the paper collection from Glarkin 45 was so um, heavy on the paper doll stuff that it was, it was, there wasn't enough paper for me to put color and, you know, fun in, in the thing. So, did stenciling, use also the um, ledger's text and um, maps paper pad that I bought a while back. More of that paper from Recollections. Deep pockets here and big tags. And then some stamping, lace, all the usual stuff. But here's how I handled the paper dolls. I've seen lots of people use this collection in lots of different ways, but this is what I came up with. Um, this is the father. He's in, he's dressed in riding clothes. And you'll see why in a few minutes. But each, each of the family members has a closet. This is Father's Closet. I have it attached with magnets at the top and the bottom. This is a brad that I cut off to make the handle, the doorknob. Um, and each of the closets has pockets, a small one for their little hats and other accessories, and then a big one for their clothing. And on the back is Brother Billy's um, little closet. Let me move this over a little bit. And here, it, well, actually his room. And he's uh, ready to go there with his closet and his football clothes and a little sailor outfit. His pocket there. Here's Father's horse. All ready to go in the paddock. And um, then on the back is just a tuck spot with one of the print of, with one of the cutouts and some little tags. So there are three signatures with lots of paper in each one for writing. Um, the paper dolls are just a fun part, I guess, as you could say. And um, so, yeah, just flipping through, getting quickly to the next signature. And that closet, as we were, as it were. This is Mother with little sister, Susie, and their closet. Little sister um, has a magnet that attaches her to Mother. They are handled as one in the collection, so 
rather than give her a page all to herself because she only has a few accessories and she's so small, I put her in with mother. So she ha here's their closet, same deal, with two pockets. And on the back, I just left it blank. You could do anything you wanted there with pages or with pictures or whatever. And this is Penny and her closet. She's got more clothes than anybody else in the in the in the uh, collection. She also has a couple of dolls. One called Dolly Deer has a lot of clothes herself, and she just lives up there in the closet. And just a little uh, tuck spot with a little collage that I made here on the lower corner. And I used the maps. Um, and you'll see why here in a minute. They have a bunch of friends. And um, this is the friend page here. Starting with this little um, belly band with a tux with a stopper at the bottom. And where, where'd my friends go? There they are. Where'd they go? We lost our friends. Here they are. Excuse me, forget that. Oh, wait. I'm lost. There they are. And it's another tuck spot. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay. These are the friends. They're from all over the world, and that's why I thought the maps would be appropriate. Our boys here, my book is unwieldy. Our boys are from Scotland and India and Spain. Our two girls are from China and Holland. And their um, clothing and accessories are in pockets up here. They didn't have a closet because they're guests. Um, or just letter writers. And another belly band with a stopper here. More map pages and blah, blah, blah. And here's the back cover. So there's my book. Um, I am going to list it in my Etsy shop. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But I have some ideas to make another one. And I have plenty of paper and stuff left. So I think I am going to have another go at it. Um, so... Please like, subscribe, comment, and come back.